hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is steven welcome to my channel in today's video we're going to be checking out this plugin called the dv flash so this plugin will actually add extra 30 plus modules to your dv modules you can see all the modules that they have here but the one that we're going to be looking at today is the dv data table so you can see here that they have two dv table modules you can see the dv table module and you can see the advanced dv table module so let's go here you can see an example of the dv table module this is really interesting this is something that you won't be able to grade normally without using CXS or something like that but with this plugin you can grade something like this super easy and also one thing I like about these guys is like they also have this template for you it's not like one of these other plugins where they show you something and then it's very very impossible for you to go ahead and regret that you can see here that they have this download button here for you you can actually go ahead and download this demo that they have here all you have to do upload it on your website and then go ahead and change the informations and the color to match your own branding if you scroll down here you can see other examples that they have here look at this example as well and then if you go to the advanced table you can see that you can grade something like this and this is really really cool and very easy to grade i'll show you how to do this and you can also see that this is very very responsive so when we go to the mobile version here you can see that this is actually very responsive you can move it around like this to see what is on the other side of the table so this is the module that we're going to be focusing on in this video but they do have other interesting modules like i already made a tutorial about this one if you go here you can see you can actually use the woocommerce module to customize your dv shop page you know by default dv doesn't have the add to cart button but with this plugin you can create something like this which is really really nice if you scroll down you can see all the examples that they have here for you so if you go here you can see that we have a shop page here we're already using this plugin on the shop page so this is our shop page and this is what it looks like so let's go ahead and log into a wordpress website so we can get started okay i've gone ahead and log into a wordpress website so the first thing we need to do is to go ahead and grab the dv flash plugin to do that all you need to do is to go to wplifestyle.com forward slash dv flash and then click enter i will also leave the link in the description box below so you can go ahead and click on it and it will bring you to their official website right here and then you can go ahead and check out the modules that they have here if you want they have 30 plus modules that you can use and then once you're ready to purchase the plugin you can go ahead and click on pricing over here and here you can see that they have three pricing option if you are going for one website you can go ahead and grab this $39 per year plan you can see this one is going to renew every year and I think this is a great price for one website and then if you're going for a limited website you can go with this one this is also a yearly plan and then if you're an agency and you have the budget you want to add this to your DV module so you can grade DV website faster I think it's best for you to go with the lifetime plan so you just pay for it once and then you don't have to pay it again so once you decide which plan that you want to go with go ahead and click on buy now and then from this page go ahead and use WP Lifestyle 20 to get a 20% discount. So go over here, have a coupon, click here and add WP Lifestyle 20 and then click apply. So you can see that will give you 20% off. Instead of paying $39, you can pay $31. So scroll down here and fill in your information and go ahead and click on purchase. So once you place the order, you can go ahead and log into your account and download the plugin. I already have an account, so let me go ahead and log in here. All right, guys. So once you log into your account, go ahead and put your mouse over here and click on downloads. And from here, you can see that i actually have the plugin so go ahead and click on download click on this button to download and you can see that the plugin has downloaded here and then go back here and click on license and then over here go ahead and copy your license code so once you copy your license code go back to your wordpress website go to plugins click on add new click on upload plugin go ahead and choose the file or you can just drag the file from here and just drop it right here and then click on install now so i already have the plugin installed you can see it right here so i'm not going to install it again so once you install the plugin and click on the activate button you're going to get this new option here called the dv flash so go ahead and click on dv flash and here you can see all the extensions that they have for you if you want to be able to upload svg you can go ahead and enable this from here and then if you want to be able to upload json file you can also go ahead and enable that from here and here is the library short code so this is actually very useful for the advanced tab module because that way you can actually show any dv library template inside the advanced tab module Module. you can also see the menu extensions that they have here for you and they also have the import and export settings so let's say you are using this on multiple websites. after you set up everything here you can go ahead and export the setting and then import it on 
on another website and then the next tab here is modules this is actually another thing i like about this plugin so let's say for example we are only interested in the advanced data table here all you need to do is to go ahead and disable all these modules and then go ahead and enable this module that we need so that way all these other modules are not going to load on your website so this is also going to keep your website loading fast instead of loading extra files that you don't need on your website so this is actually very good i like it when developers build plugins like this so once you select the module that you need go ahead and click on save changes but just for this tutorial i'm just going to leave all the modules enabled because this is not a live site this is just a demo site so let me go ahead and click on enable all and then click on save changes so the last thing you need to do here is to enter your license key so that you'll be able to get an update so all you need to do is come in here and paste in your license key and then once you paste the code in here you're going to see activate button here you can see my own said deactivate because i already activated the license but your own is going to show activate but don't click on the activate button yet go ahead and click on save changes first once you click on save changes and then you can click on the activate button and that will go ahead and activate the license for you all right so once you activate the plugin let's just go to a random page and try to create a div table so let's go to this page and click on enable visual builder so from here let's go ahead and add a new row and then we can add a one column row and then from here let's go ahead and select the advanced data table module so now under the table content we need to select the type of file that we want to use inside the table you can see here that we have csv file if you click here you can see that we have import table we have the google sheet we have the database table and we also have the table press so in this tutorial i'm going to be using csv so all you need to do is to go ahead and click on the upload button here and then you can upload any csv file you can go ahead and grab the file and drop it right here or you can go and select it from your library if you already have one uploaded so let's say you have a data on your spreadsheet that you want to put on your website all you need to do is to go and save that file on your spreadsheet as a csv file and then you can come here and upload it or even if you have it on google sheet you can also save it as a csv file and then come over here and upload it so let me go ahead and upload one csv file all right guys so you can see that i've gone ahead and save a sample csv file here all I have to do is drag this file and just drop it right here. So once you drop the file, go ahead and click on the upload button here. And now you can see that we have the data here already entered for you. And you can see that this is really, really nice. So you can see that this table is pretty much done. All you have to do is to go ahead and customize it. Unfortunately, when you upload a CSV file, you cannot change these information here. You have to change it on your spreadsheet and then you can upload it again if you want to make any changes. So if you want to explore any other table type, like maybe you want to use the import table or Google Sheet or database table, you can let me know in the comment section below and then I will make a tutorial about that. But in this tutorial, we're just going to be focusing on the CSV file. So now that we have it here, you can see that everything is pretty much done. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of customization here. So let's click on the table options. So here's the options that we have. You can see here that we have the search bar. If you want to disable that, you can go ahead and disable that from here. And here we have the multi language. You can go ahead and change this to a different language if you want. Maybe we want to change this to French. You can go ahead and change that from here. But let's go ahead and leave this on English for now. And then we also have the background option. You can go ahead and give it any background that you want. But for now, I won't be using any backgrounds. So from the design tab here, we can design the table. We can add rounded corners if we want. So you already know how DV works. I'm not going to go into details explaining how you can customize this table because it's just like every other DV module. So you can go ahead and follow the same process and go to every single tab. You go to this tab and then you customize it. If you do something that you don't like, let's say you come in here and you change this color, you don't like it. All you have to do is to click on the reset button here and reset it. And then if you don't understand how DV works and you haven't used DV before and you want to understand how to use DV, I have a DV basic tutorial for beginners that you can watch. I'll leave that video in the description box below or I'll just put it up somewhere on the screen on the card. So we're not going to go into details to customize everything. I'm just going to make small adjustments here. Maybe I'll just change the heading background. So here's our heading. We can give it this background color. If you want to use gradient background, you can click on this button right here and then click on enable gradient background. Now you can see that we have a gradient background. And then you can go ahead and choose the color for your gradient you can choose any color that you want but for now i will disable this and just use the default background and then we have the heading font we can change that from here also change the font weight from here as well we can make it all capital letter if we want and then we can also change the color we can change that to white like this if we want 
and then we have the border style here if we want to add a border maybe we want to add a border at the bottom we can select this bottom one here and then come in here and add the border like this and maybe we can change this to white or maybe like a different color black i don't know so that's pretty much all the customizations i want to do for the head and then you can follow the same process for the body and customize this body exactly how you want it and then do the same thing for the side back which is this one that we have here you can change the background color if you want and you can do the same thing for page nation which is this one that we have over here we can use gradient background if we want just like this so go ahead and play around with it once you finish you can scroll down here we'll come to custom spacing so this is where you can add padding inside the table if you don't know where the padding will apply you can go ahead and slide this and see for yourself you can see we're applying a padding on the top and then if you don't like that you can also go ahead and reset this and then we have the content padding you can also apply this to the content like this so this is inside you can see we have that padding here if you don't like the outcome you can go ahead and reset it as well and then we have the head cell padding if you apply top padding it's going to apply here and if you apply the bottom one it will apply on the bottom like this you can see the amount of space that we have here and then the body cell padding is this body right here we can go ahead and apply padding on the top like this and then also at the bottom and then maybe to the left and then also to the right so you can see the spacings that we have let me go ahead and reset that so follow the same process and then do all the customization that you want once you're happy you can go ahead and click on save changes right here and then let's go ahead and click on exit the visual builder so now you can see that you have a beautiful responsive data table on your website so if you like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up so that more people can see it if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet go ahead and do that smash the post notification icon so you get notified whenever i upload a video like this thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye